Hello, and welcome back to Channel 4 and 3 Quarters News. I'm your host, Reporter. We still have no updates on the missing monkey that escaped the local zoo a few weeks ago. Here's what the head zookeeper had to say about that. Yeah, well, monkey's gone. It took us a while to figure that one out, actually, on the account that we don't really check that enclosure no more because we've lost three employees to them monkeys alone in the last year. They ain't dead or nothing, we just haven't found them yet. <sighs> yeah, them monkeys are real aggressive too, and we can't defend ourselves because them's an endangered species or something like that. Fucking FDA. <laughs> yeah, them monkeys have been making a habit of stealing our keys and locking us in there with them all night at the museum style. <clears throat> oh, fuck. Something almost came up there. <laughs> and, uh, uh, hey, hey, quiet down now. We're gonna be on TV. Uh, we gotta finish up this filming pretty quick. I got a fart, and I'm not sure if I need to trust it or not. Uh, yeah, we've had a problem with them monkeys. They're trying to escape in the past. We've had five of them stacked on top of each other in a trench coat. Almost walked right on out of here. Don't know where they got the trench coat, though. Well, isn't that something, folks? I guess you could say, the zoo's monkeys are out of the barrel. <laughs> In other news, local landlord, drug smuggler, and bagpipe enthusiast has been reported missing. He was last seen visiting two of his tenants after a slew of noise complaints. Both tenants recalled to the two polices that their landlord had driven away in his neon green PT Cruiser. Some of his defining characteristics include a creepy mustache, a top hat, and an ever-changing accent. If you have any information about this man's whereabouts, please call the- Oh, no. Oh, God. What is this? God! How long has this been going on for? Steve!